was the safety car driver not retiring to the pit lane and the green lights going. Fortunately, the front rows had seen that. That is the most extraordinary thing that I've ever seen. The lights went to green, Graham, but yes, yes. we still had the Audi leading the field. Yeah, there it is. Clear to see. That's a terrifying start, isn't it? Dear, oh dear. Disaster, organisational chaos at the beginning of the, uh, of the event. The S5 Audi safety car is sitting on the back straight, but the... Waiting for the field. It's, it's pal hasn't pulled off, and we've been told that the cars will come in convoy through the pit lane. No one will be allowed to stop. The pit's effectively closed. We take you back to Tuesday night. Swindell during qualifying. Around the turn, slams into the back of the push truck. He suffered broken bones in both hands, cracked a kneecap, but he hopes to be back racing. Let's take a look. Here's the pace car coming out, and right in front of him is where the Carlson crash is. He collects a race car. I don't know who's driving the pace car tonight. I thought the safety car driver needed to be a little cautious there. Oh my goodness. And Paul was saying he clipped it, he said. Clipped it. And he said, as you can see, it pulled out in front of me. This may be the first time in history the pace car has been wiped out in an accident. And welcome back to Charlotte Motor Speedway. The North Carolina Education Lottery 200 presented on Speed by Toyota. That is a shot of the pace car. Now, we have seen some amazing things already tonight. The pace car has a flat right rear tire. <laughs> we don't see these things normally, but tonight we're seeing all sorts of things. You remember at Talladega that one time when someone stole the pace car yeah. right before the race? And they made a blockade across the fourth turn to make him stop. <laughs> and they got him out of the truck, got him out of the car. Check out our pace truck. We now have a pace truck. A little Tundra. We'll talk about a, a Toyota never winning here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We have one pace in the field right now. All right, thank you, Jack. Well, the pace car, we understand, has been stolen. The uh, officials are not driving this thing, and <laughs> somebody has actually gone to the pace car and stole it. There are at least two policemen on motorcycles, plus this car that are pursuing the pace car right now. And up till now, the pace car has not been caught. They've created a roadblock there coming off of turn number four, heads towards the tri-oval, and we think there is some unusual drama occurring here. <laughs> Let's see what happens when he gets to the uh, roadblock. Will he try to go through it, or will he stop and be captured? And I guess he's going to stop. <laughs> Well, this is certainly a well, I've heard the story of that man who makes a living by going around crashing parties, but this is certainly a first. And you can see this the crowd standing and applauding the officials who finally have captured this thief. It has been a bizarre.